If you're new to soft contact lenses, learning how to take the contacts out can sometimes be the most difficult and nerve wracking thing to learn. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to take the contacts out a couple different ways to make it faster and easier. Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy with the channel that's dedicated to keeping your eyes healthy and your vision clear. Now there are a couple of different things we need to do in order to get ready to take your contacts out. First off, wash your hands. You will be touching your eye, better to be safe than sorry, and dry your hands the best you can. Dry fingers will make this whole process a lot easier. If you wear extended contact lenses, two week lenses or one month lenses, get your contact lens solution and your contact case ready to go. Now, if you've seen my video about how to put the contacts in, the same struggles apply to taking the contacts out. And you're gonna use the same method you use for putting the contact lenses in. I usually tell people to use their non-dominant hand, reach over and grab the top eyelid and pull, and then the dominant hand using the middle finger to pull the bottom eyelid down. Now remember, you wanna grab the eyelids from the eyelid margin where the eyelashes are. If you grab too high and too low, you won't have enough room to actually get in there and take the contact lenses out. Now that we have the eyelids out of the way, we're gonna use our pointer finger and our thumb on the dominant hand to actually take the contacts out. And this is what you need to practice. You need to be able to make a tweezer-like motion with the pads of your thumb and pointer finger. You don't wanna be using your fingernails or the tips of your fingers because you could accidentally scratch or damage your eye. Now with the eyelids out of the way, you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna aim for the bottom third of the cornea, the bottom third of where that contact is at. Now when you actually touch the contact, make sure both fingers are touching the contact. And then you're gonna make your little tweezer motion and that's gonna grab the contact right off of your cornea. Okay, now here are the tips to make that easy. Kind of like when you put the contacts in, you wanna make sure that your eyes are staring straight forward, looking at yourself in the mirror. It's gonna be a lot harder if your eyes are gonna be moving up and down, left and right, because it'll be really hard to actually follow and chase that contact to take it out. So make sure you're looking straight ahead so you can aim and hit your target. The other tip, and this is probably the best one, when I see a lot of people learning how to take the contacts out, the amount of pressure that you put on the eye or the contact lenses is a little bit more than you think it will be. A lot of times they'll go in and use their tweezer motion and then they pull out thinking they got the contact lens, but it's still in the eye because they didn't apply enough pressure to actually grab the contact. When you've touched the contact with your fingers, push in just a little bit and then do the tweezer motion and that will get the contact out of there. Now just be careful, don't push too hard, don't get aggressive about it, it's just a little bit more pressure than you think and then do the tweezer motion, that will allow you to grip the contact a little bit better. Now once you have the contact lens out, if it's an extended wear, two week, one month contact lens, now you can clean it and store it in the case. And here's another tip if you're having trouble using the tweezer method to get the contact right off the cornea. Hey, if you're new to contact lenses and this video is helping you out, definitely hit that like button for me. That tells me to make more videos like this in the future. A lot of people have a hard time feeling the contact lens or knowing where the contact lens is. Sometimes they'll be tweezing at their eyeball and not the contact and actually irritating their eye even more. So this is a way to actually know where the contact is and to kind of loosen the grip the contact has on the eyeball. For this way, before you use the tweezer method, you're gonna actually look up a little bit and you're gonna use your finger and touch right on the eye and drag down very, very gently. Now make sure you touch right on the cornea if you can and that light pressure and drag down. This will drag the contact down your eyeball as well. Now this will do two things. This will loosen the grip it has on the eyeball and also give you a tactile response so you know exactly where that contact is. So let me show you this one. So you're gonna look up just a little bit Use your pointer finger right on the cornea and drag down and you'll see your vision kind of warp a little bit and you'll feel that contact get pulled down. And then once you've pulled it down, then you can go in with the tweezer method and try and grab it that way. So let me show you here. I'm gonna look up, gently drag down, then go in with the tweezer method and then pull the contact right off. You can also use the same method and actually pull it to the side if that feels like it would be easier for you as well. For this one, you're gonna use the same process. You're gonna look off to the side instead of look up Make sure that you use your pointer finger right on the cornea and then drag the contact over to the side and then use the tweezer method. And then you can pull it right out. Now for people that have really long fingernails, it can be a little extra difficult to get the contacts out because it can be really hard to use the tweezer method. This way is not as popular, but sometimes it's the best way if you have really long fingernails and that's to not even use the tweezer method. Instead, you're gonna pull the contact and keep pulling and the contact will be bunched up onto the side and roll out and then you can grab it off from there. Again, that for some reason scares me and makes me nervous, but I guess it's the better alternative to scratching your eye with your fingernails. 
Now, just to answer a quick question that I get all the time, it is impossible for a contact lens to get stuck behind the eyeball. The contact can get stuck underneath the eyelid and around the front of the eye, and I'll have a separate video about how to get a stuck contact lens out of your eye, but just be assured the contact will never go behind the eyeball. If you want to learn more tips and tricks and more about contact lenses, definitely check out my playlist right there or one of my other videos right there. Hit the subscribe button for my future videos. I'm Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.